Hey, what's up everybody? This is DDS and in this video I'm just going to show you guys how I arrange using my machine studio. It's pretty much the same for the machine micro except for for the groups you have to hold down shift. No, you don't even have to hold down shift. You just hold down group and then your groups will show up across the pads and then you click the pad that you want and then from there what you do is then you once your group is selected you hold down pattern and pick which pattern you want in each scene I'm going to try and make this as clear as I can I've been doing this for a few years so it's like second nature to me I pulled up a beat that I already made and I just went back and broke it back down so that way I could just throw it together it's simple and it shouldn't be too hard so I hope you guys enjoy it and also learn how to arrange a machine because that was really the most common request I got for these tutorials so hope you guys enjoy it. I'm going to try and do it step by step so that way it's clear and really just clear and simple as to what exactly it is that I'm doing. So let me know if you guys have any other questions and enjoy. Like, comment, and if you're new, subscribe. Alright, so the first thing I have or what I tend to do is I label each group after a sound for the most part. Like this right here is a group of this little pluck that I have that I made using Omnisphere. And then you see this next group is my 808 and then right there is my drums. So I have and then this is my little effect right here that I like to use in all my beats. But so I just have something simple here and what I do is I will add a pattern like let me go to my drums real quick so I can show you this part of the arrangement you know that's my first part of the first verse my second part my third part oh you know what? let me do it on here so you see that I'm going through the patterns that was the first part second part hook second verse second part of the second verse something just simple like that you know but let me take that off of there and let me just go back okay and then you already heard the first sound and the 808 is the 808 so now that that's like that what you do is you hold down the scene button and then you go find which group you want remember that you have it labeled and if you have a machine studio it shows up what you label it right there it shows you what the group is if you don't remember by color or the certain order so for this beat I'm going to start the intro just by hitting the first group which is my little pluck pad that I made and let me play it. And then that's how I want the beat to start. So I'm going to hit duplicate. And if you don't have the machine in front of you or you don't know how to do it on the hardware, all you have to do is right click and then duplicate. And then that will make a copy of that scene right next to it. So back to this. So I want everything to come in on this one. So I just hit the group for my 808 and then hold down pattern. Now the 808 pattern is there. It's only one pattern as you see. And like for my drums right here, I have five different patterns. So. So that's really the hook right there. So from there, since that's the hook is I would just normally I would duplicate it and then I would change the the drum pattern back to the first verse part and then I'll come over here and then just take the 808 out maybe on a computer it's easier to just take it out on a computer if you're working with both actually it's easier to do with the machine jam but I'm trying to eliminate that for this video I want to just focus on the machine studio and the machine software so this will be how the verse is intro my hook my first part of the first verse second part of the first verse 
that's how I arrange my beats. I know everybody has their own way of doing it. And then from there, I go back to the hook, which is pad number two, where I put it at, or wherever you arranged it around here. And then I hit duplicate, so it just copied it. And then I changed the position of it to go to the end. So therefore, if you go to the last part of the verse, why does that sound like that? Let me see something real. Please excuse the way my pad is coming on. I'm not sure why it's doing that on this video because it was just working fine when I was going through with it earlier. But so for this one, what I would do, probably move the 808 again, just. And I'll duplicate that. Change my drums again. Add the 808 back in. something real simple it wasn't nothing major I mean I'm trying to think of how I can go into more detail about this but this is really how I arrange it's really simple I mean the machine jam made it a lot easier but for those of you who just really want to focus on the machine without like just the machine micro the machine studio and the regular machine all of it pretty much runs the same way it's just on the micro you have to hold a different button so yeah it's just simple I mean, like I said, the important parts about arranging to me is labeling each group, separating each group. I know some people who set the groups up with a whole lot of different sounds in one group. I like to have, if I have a piano that goes in this group by itself, I have a, the 808, it goes in a group by itself, I have a pad, it goes in a group by itself. That way, everything is, I know where everything is, I know where I want to add it, that I put it in there so that way it's not all just one big thing and I have to figure it out, you know. And then another important thing is to your pattern length. I tend to change the pattern lengths of my drums so that way they're the longest without changing the pattern length of everything. So that way everything else will just repeat. I don't know how everybody else does it, but that also impacts your scenes. How long your longest pattern is, that's how long your scene is going to be. So that's very important because I'm pretty sure some people get confused with that as well. Um, Trying to think of what else I can say about this. And just make sure that you have your patterns arranged however you want them. Like I have my first part of my hook, second part of the hook, <laughs> hook. No, not the hook, excuse me. First part of the verse, second part of the verse, the hook. Second part of first part of second verse, second part of second verse, excuse me. It's late at night right now, but I really wanted to get this video out for you guys. Because it's just funny that this is the most requested machine tutorial and I hope you guys are really enjoying it. So what I'm going to do from here is just let it run through for a second. I mean, like I said, it's a simple beat. I really just wanted to get the basics out there. I didn't want to do automation and all that in this one video because I didn't want to confuse the people who really just wanted to focus on arranging because people said they had such a hard time doing it. And I understand when I first got with it, it took me a long time to understand how to 
arrange. I was used to the FL Studio way of just pointing your patterns out. I mean, I'm gonna go over to the computer. On the computer, you can duplicate. Let me see if I duplicate this. And then you can move it around the way that I'm moving it around, you know. So if you are not comfortable doing it with this yet, lay up everything on here however you want it, you know, by adding the different patterns in however you want to do it. And then you just copy the scenes and then drag it from there until you get comfortable doing it on here. Another key point about how I make my beats that may be different from how a lot of people do it is I just, I really make... I don't even want to say my hook first because my drums aren't the hook. Basically, I get all the instruments kind of in the way I want it in the hook. And then I add the drums to sit there. And then I'll be like, okay, this is going to end up being how the hook comes in. It's going to be this part. Then this is going to be the hook. The verse comes in this way. This, this, this. You know, get it all organized that way. And then I'll add more instruments after that. That's how I usually do it. And that really helps me to have everything lined up. And I break it down. Just toss stuff like this goes here. I already know this is the verse. Another thing you can do if you didn't know, I'm pretty sure a lot of you know, is that you can just name your patterns as well. As long as your your group, along with your groups, along with your scenes, like you can name it hook, and then from there that will also help you be better organized. I don't go through the time of doing that because I already know how I want it, but that probably be helpful if I was new because that makes it easier, especially when you're using the copy and duplicate and all that. So. I hope this video was useful to you guys. I hope it was helpful. I'm going to get my computer screen in the video along with my machine. Hopefully it looks right so that way you guys can see both. And if it doesn't work, I'll just have to figure out a way to somehow put it all together at some point. But hope this really helped you guys. Thank you guys for really requesting stuff. I appreciate it. And this was just the most requested thing I had to think about. Go look at the list to see what else is on there. So I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Thank you for watching. I appreciate you.